Welcome to this modding tutorial for Battle Trauma. Timestamps have been added for your convenience. This episode is about setting up, so if you already have software to edit images and text, you can head into the next episode directly, where I start into the actual Battle Trauma modding. The first thing you will need are some tools. For starters, a way to write your code. Secondly, if you want to do something a bit more advanced, you will need a photo or 2D image editor. My recommendations for the code is Notepad++, as it not only has good support for XML, it also is very light on the system. My recommendations for the image editor are these three. Photoshop, Affinity Photo, and GIMP. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. For example, two of these are really powerful, but are paid software. One is more expensive than the other. Of course, the choice is ultimately yours, to whatever fits your budget. In my opinion, GIMP is amazing for starters. For this tutorial series, I'll be using Notepad++ and Affinity Photo, so if you use these programs, I'll be able to give you some tips and tricks that will help you speed up your modding time. Now, if you don't know how to install any of these programs, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm gonna go over a step-by-step -step guide on how to install them. They are mostly just straightforward, except for Notepad++. I'll get a little bit special on that one. For the photo editor, they are as simply as downloading the program from the web page, and then run the installator. For Notepad++, it's almost the same. Get the installator from the web page, and then just run it. Once installed, head over to Plugins, and then head over to Plugins Admin. On the search box, type XML, and press on Next. Finally, tick the plugin boxes that say XML Tools and XML Tree View. These plugins, though they are for more advanced uses, they'll be able to give you some heads up for when your code has small errors that need correcting. The last bit in this video is going to be a quick lesson on shortcuts that are going to be useful on your programming. For example, in Notepad++, did you know that if you press Shift plus Alt plus one of the arrow keys, it allows you to edit multiple rows in one go? For example, like what is on screen. It's very handy for when you are trying to organize your code or need to replace two rows of words. Alt plus number collapses a group corresponding to the number of your choice. This is better explained with an example, so pay attention to the screen. But in summary, Alt plus two is going to be your MVP when searching for something in Battle Trauma. Control plus F, search function. With it, you can quickly find certain ID, tag, or otherwise keyword that you are looking for. It also allows you to quickly replace said words with another one. Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Copy and paste, respectively. I don't know who needed to know this, but here you go. That's going to be for introductions. In the next video, I will begin with the basics of Battle Trauma Money. See ya there! Hey, thanks for watching! If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing for similar content. Have a fantastic day.